Hello and what is going on today people, Tomcat here and we are going to be looking at a Land Rover in this episode of Spin Tires and I know this might end up being a slightly controversial episode with my Jeep people because I know I have a lot of Jeep people and the Jeep people are probably getting their pitchforks ready behind their computer screens right now because we're re reviewing a Land Rover but it was sitting in my mods and I figured I would review it just to see how it was. Now, we've got a couple of different options. We've got uh, we've got the roof rack, which then can hold jerry cans and a toolbox, which gives us a decent bit of support. And then for wheels and tires, we've got the default ones. We've got Cooper Discoverer STT Pros, which actually have a decent bit of stance to them and look really nice. We've got um, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax on the stock wheels, I believe. Yeah, the stock wheels. And then we've got, well... 38s. Um, we've got 38s on a set of steel wheels, which I'm going to run the 38s. They are Baja Claws, and I think they look really nice. I Personally, I think they look very, very nice, and the cool thing about this thing right off the bat is actually, well, first of all, the cool thing that I'm going to do right off the bat is turn my motion blur off because I reinstalled the game because some stuff was being funky, but the cool thing about this thing is right off the bat, it doesn't... Um, it, the four-wheel drive isn't even isn't even switchable. It's just all the time all-wheel drive constant, which is kind of nice. I mean, it just saves you from having to switch in and out of it because you're never really going to switch out of it in spin tires. But the diff lock obviously is switchable, and it's actually not that slow. It really is. It's got some decent pace to it. Now, the you know obviously the objective of spin tires is not to be fast. The objective is to get where you're going with minimal damage and, you know, actually successfully getting there. Now, I could see the pr perspective uses of this vehicle being, say, a scout vehicle or a maybe a support vehicle, a light support vehicle, not any kind of heavy support vehicle, but maybe a light support vehicle. And when you're using it in, in that kind of sense, it's, it's not too bad. Now, let's see, actually, let's get around this rock and see how deep this little puddle actually is. It's not too bad. It only comes up to like, yeah, it doesn't come up. It, it, it only comes up like halfway up the tire. It's not too bad. Now, just driving this thing around, it's not, it's, it's pretty drivable, actually. It's not super bouncy. The suspension is just a tiny bit hard, but it is, after all, a, a street vehicle, primarily. And it may be a street vehicle in off-road spec, but it's still primarily a street vehicle. So, you know, you're not going to be comparing this to like, say, a crawler Jeep or something because... It's just not made for that. But I do feel like the power that this thing has is going to actually help it later on when we start to get into some more steeper obstacles and, and possibly some mud as well. Let's see what we've got here as far as travel and flex. It's a little... It feels a little top-heavy. I mean, it is a Land Rover, but it does feel a little top-heavy. And I do apologize if I call it a Range Rover instead of a Land Rover in this episode. You know, if I forget and I call it a Range Rover instead of a Land Rover, I'm sorry to the Land Rover guys out there that, um, because then I'll have the Jeep people after me for reviewing a Land Rover, and I'll have the Land Rover people after me for calling it a Range Rover, because I did. The last time I did a, the last time I reviewed a Land Rover in spin tires, I accidentally called it a Range Rover, and, um, there were some, there were some Land Rover guys with pitchforks, believe me. So, it actually goes quite well. I'm, I'm impressed. It's... It keeps up its momentum really well until it shifts down like that. Let's pop it in a high and see if it can just walk right up this hill. Oh, okay. Not not too bad. Close. Really close. If I change the line a little bit, I'll be able to get up there. Yeah, this will have no problem if I just change my line a tiny little bit. We'll just back up and kind of realign ourselves. Back up. Oh, come on. Third gear, switch to high. All right, keep it locked. Go, go, go. Go, get grip at the front. There you go. Just trying to walk its way up. It's spinning pretty bad, but yeah, we're going to have to slide back down and try it again. We're so freaking close, though. I mean, we're so dang close that we're right at the edge of that, of like the crest of that hill. I think what's messing us up is there's a little bit of a rise in the terrain right after you crest the hill, so you kind of have to get up twice, basically. So it can kind of screw you up. Let's see, let's set it again in a second. 
Let it get into third. Change to high. That was a terrible gear change, but we'll gloss over that. Oh, that was horrible. Did not have the momentum that it wanted. It's trying to walk, though. It's trying hard, actually. It gains a bit of traction, and then it loses it. I mean, what you need for something like this is the wheel speed, but there we go. We're getting somewhere. And it slides back down. What you need for this is the wheel speed, and you need a combination of the wheel speed and the momentum, and because of that crap gear change, we didn't quite make it. One more attempt. One more attempt, and we'll have it, I promise. Ready, get ready, get ready. Alrighty. Let's do this. First gear. Second gear. Third gear. Shift over with the mouse. Maintain momentum. Oh, we're rutting it up bad, though. There we go. Come on. Come on. Slid over to the side. Damn. Oh, we were so close. Damn, we were so close. God, that was... That was basically where we needed to be. It really was basically where we needed to be. If we hadn't have slid over, dude. And the thing is, this is so rutted up now, it's... We're kind of screwed on getting up that. I mean, we could get up it, and I'm going to kind of take the cheater way and go around the side. But I guarantee you this thing could get up there if you had a really good run on the first or second try. And, you know, you, got, you had it in high, you just booted it. You'd be able to bounce up the hill, but, I mean, now that it's rutted up, it's a lot more difficult to get speed and momentum. It's even having a little bit of trouble getting around this side. Jeez. It's actually, let me stop right here, put it in low two, and see, see about using, like, crawler gear. It's literally understeering back down the hill. And like low one. Oh wow, low one is really good. It's not this good on a lot of other vehicles, but th but this Land Rover, it actually is. You can really use the low range on this thing. Get up over it. There you go. What's it pushing against? Like the crest of another hill? There we go. That's the line I was looking for because I had to get off of the crest of the hill to make that turn in. Oh, dude, look at that. It is just creeping along. Some vehicles won't do this. Some vehicles won't hardly move in, um, in, in low one. But, dude, this one actually does. And I like that a lot. I'm actually really pleased with my Land Rover. I like it. I actually, after that, I actually like it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. But since I'm, like, I mean, when it comes to off-road, I'm big into Toyotas and Jeeps. I've never been a huge Land Rover guy. But after that, I'm... I like this thing. I, I think it's, at least in spin tires, it works out quite well. Got some heavy mud to deal with here. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to shift it up into high and just let it eat. Just throw mud everywhere. On the other hand, that's how you get, well, that's also how you get stuck, but we'll gloss over that. No problem here, just mudding in the Land Rover. Not a problem at all. Mud's just like on the roof. It's okay. I've experienced that in a Dodge. <laughs> you guys have seen that video. Or at least, well, you haven't seen the video of it happening, but you saw the afterwards, uh, like the actual aftermath commentary. And yes, the mud was on the roof and in the bed and over the windows and basically everywhere basically everywhere that that truck that truck was i well that truck my truck i covered it i absolutely covered it and it's hopefully well it should be pretty clean because i'm having uh, like once my once i get everything in um everything new installed with my steering parts it will be detailed it will be meticulously detailed so come on land rover 
I think I'm gonna stop using high. I'm gonna put it in low one. Low one is probably... Oh, dude, look at that! Low two, low three. It spins a bit in low three, so I'm gonna keep it in low two. No spin. Look at that. No spin at all. Just works its way right through the mud, no problem. Thing is awesome. Lights work. Oh, yes. It's got the DRLs, too, but... This is, like... This is properly done. Oh, it's a roof cam. I was hoping it was an interior cam. I really, really was. That's a big angle. Dude, I'd be bottoming out the front diff so bad right now. So bad. Actually, that side trail. Let's take the side trail. Side trail looks fun. Or is it a side trail? Uh, yeah. Or an even better one. Yeah, this one looks even better. It's got a little bit of a downhill dip. Nothing too bad. I tried that shift with the controller. I was a little worried I wasn't going to make it in time, but it'll do it. Come on. Come on. There you go. And once you get up to speed, it, it... I mean, the suspension is a bit bouncy. Yeah. Oh, God. Holy crap. That's ridiculous. Did not expect that at all. And the suspe well, like I said, the suspension is a little bit bouncy once you get up to speed, but it's not, like, uncontrollably bouncy. It's actually quite manageable. Um, I'm okay with it. I'll get over there and grab that cloaking point, and then that will mark the end of this episode. Let's see if we can jump it. Aww, I wanted to jump it. But if you guys enjoyed this, this mod review and spin tires, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more daily videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.